Uh, cities and towns across Maine are getting ready for this weekend storm. And for many people in southern Maine, this will be the first major snowfall of the season. As everyone prepares, local leaders and plow drivers have some safety reminders for you. New Center Maine Sam Rogers joins us live from Portland with more. Sam. Hey, Zach and Chris. Well, the plow trucks here at Portland Public Works are ready for their first true test of the winter, but city officials tell us there is a shortage of drivers. So please be patient as crews work to clear snow this weekend. And another reminder, take a look at how big these plows actually are. So if you do see them working near your home, near your apartment, make sure to give them the time and the space that they need to get all that snow out of the way on Sunday. Now, all that being said, local plowing companies, local hardware stores across southern Maine are ready to serve. We will have our uh, storm prep call tomorrow morning and then, of course, communicate anything to the public once we know a better tracking of the storm. Before announcing any parking bans or closures, Portland officials reminding residents to have patience this weekend. That DPW is short staffed right now, but they'll definitely be focused on keeping those main lines clear and then it might take them a little bit longer to get into the side streets. Side streets in southern Maine soon to receive the first plowable snow of the season. Um, we have taken all safety measures necessary to uh, get ready for the storm. Sal Chinchilla and his crews at 207 Landscaping and Tree Service remove snow for homes and businesses in five towns in the greater Portland area. On Friday, checking in with customers and replacing these markers for the plows. So we're just ensuring we have a total safe plow zone and um, so that way everything goes smooth. Just doing a test run to get everything so everything goes smooth so we can help out our customers. Matthew Moulton is the operations manager in charge of the four crews on the job this weekend, reminding them to be safe on the roads. Going slow, taking our time, and just getting everything, you know, done properly. It may be the start of a long winter for these plow drivers, but Chinchilla says his employees are committed to serve others. Because there is customers and there is businesses that are relying on you to be there and provide a safe environment for everybody. And once those snowfall maps hit the airwaves, all of a sudden it dawns on them, oh, my snowboard wasn't running since last year and sometimes they go to try it and they're out of luck. Anything else? And then they come to Yerkes' power equipment in Portland, which has been helping Mainers for almost 90 years. Like Human that. nature, we're pro procrastinators, so yeah, it's always been like that. You gotta start the snowblower before the snow. We also spoke with Paul Merrill. He's a spokesperson for the Maine Department of Transportation. He says while the DOT has struggled with staffing shortages in years past, they will have plenty of crews statewide to respond to this weekend storm. Again, he says to give the plow trucks plenty of time and space as they work. And Zach and Chris, another benefit for all the crews across Maine, it's a weekend, so less cars than usual will be out on the roads. All right, sounds good. Sam Rogers, great tips. Live in Portland tonight. Thanks so much.